But let me tell you, if you want to immediately cut past anyone's logic circuits and immediately make them scared, just mention nuclear radiation because it's so counterintuitive. It's this thing you can't see, touch, smell, or perceive in any way that can kill you. Nuclear fallout, of course, is a real problem. Uh, but one of the things that, uh, in, and this is in no way meant to downplay the danger of the situation, but as people start throwing around the word Chernobyl, people really start to get worried. Uh, and uh, I, I want to point people to, there's a fantastic speech by Michael Crichton uh, that you can find on YouTube. I believe it's called Fear and Complexity. Uh, and he talks about how he wanted to create a global disaster. So he looked up some research on Chernobyl. The initial estimates at the time were that 2,000 people died at the accident and that upwards of 400,000 people died through later complications because of exposure to radiation and cancers and that kind of thing. As he dug into the numbers, uh, the actual numbers turned out that around 50 people died during the actual disaster, most of whom, about 30 of them, were fighting the fire live on the scene, and that's where, that's where they died. And that long-term cancers and infertility rates um, were such that basically only 4,000 to the day. Now, of course, the speech was written a, a while ago, and uh, of course, there's some fact-checking to be done on that. But that is a massive difference from a perceived disaster to the actual number. And the one thing he points out that blew my mind was that the World Health Org Organization did a study on what the biggest impact of, uh, of Chernobyl was, and they concluded that the number one negative impact of Chernobyl was not the radiation exposure, it was the perception of being told that you're going to die young, that you're going to be infertile, you can't have children, and that you, you've got nothing to live for. That's what caused the suicides in the early days.